The Hasselblad X2D100C has been more than just a camera for me. It has been a witness to some of the most breathtaking adventure I have ever experienced. The soft glow of a sunrise, the rush of the street life, the quiet magic of landscapes that leave you speechless. But today, something exciting is happening. You know this camera? which has already given me so much, is about to get a serious upgrade. The firmware version 4.0.0. This new firmware update for the Hasselblad X2D, the version 4.0.0, is a game changer. And in this video, first, I'm going to update my Hasselblad X2D to the latest firmware. And secondly, I'm going to demonstrate to you why those two features are game changers. So here's what new. First, now we have support for the Hasselblad XCD75P lens that has been released only this week, I believe. And also the X extension tube. If you are into close up and portrait shot, this update opens up new creative possibilities for you, my friend. Now, the feature I am most excited or and fascinated by is the four shot multi shot mode. That's how Hasselblad call it. But otherwise, you may know it as a pixel shift mode. All right, so let me tell you why this is so exciting. Here's the four shot multi shot, as Hasselblad call it, but otherwise it's known as a pixel shift. So how it does it? So the camera take four photos in a row and moving the sensor a tiny bit each time and then combines them into one incredible 100 megapixel image. You know, imagine getting colors that are richer Details that are sharper. This camera keeps getting better and better every time Hasselblad launch a new firmware update. All right, so let's get this update finished and see how the camera feel with this new upgrade in. Now, we're gonna update the X2D to the latest firmware. All right, so next thing is to go to Hasselblad website, find the new firmware, download it, and start the process of updating to the latest firmware. Okay. So don't worry, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so that you don't have to go through Google and search and all those and you just click the link, it will take you to the download page. All right, so here I am in Hazelblad and let's go into Sipo. So in Sipo, let's go into firmware. Into firmware, now let's select, you know, the the camera that we have is X2D100C. Here we are, and you can see the new firmware is 4.0.0. That's the firmware. All right, so what are we gonna do? Yeah, that is fine. So now we're gonna download it. So I'm just gonna press into what is a firmware, you can see here. So I'm gonna press and now is downloading. So just gonna take a few seconds and it will finish download. Oh, great. The firmware is now downloaded into my computer. This time I'm gonna use the CF Express card in order to update to the latest firmware. So let me get the CF Express card out of the camera. I do have a CF Express card here. So let me press here. So eject it. So that's a CF Express card. So in this CF Express card, that's what I'm gonna upload the firmware. So bear with me a second, because I need to connect it into my computer. All right, so here is the new firmware. So I'm gonna copy, put on the root of the CF Express card. Just drag it and drop it here. All right, it's done. So I'm gonna eject, I'm gonna eject it. Just done. First, let's make sure the battery that is in the camera is fully charged. So let me check. I don't remember when last time I, I charged my battery. So I'm gonna turn it on. Let's turn it on. All right, you can see. You can see the level of batteries on me is, is not so. I'm gonna replace with a new 
fully charged battery, overcharged battery. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to remove the battery and replace it with another new, with a fully charged battery. I keep saying new battery. All right. So let's turn it on. It's coming on. All right. You can see the battery is fully charged. To update the X2D firmware, you either use the S internal SSD or you use the CF Express card. So I'm using the CF Express card. So here is the CF Express card. So I'm going to insert it into the Hazard Bridge X2D. All right. So CF Express card is in. So now we're going to start the process. So I'm going to go into the menu. And I'm gonna go into general and I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down and we go to services. You can see the current firmware version is 3.2.2. .2. So we say check for update. And you can see now it found a update. So now I'm just gonna press update. Pressing update. And then he asking us those kind of questions. So I'm gonna press update. And now it is updating. Okay, you can see that update is complete. We just need to press okay and we move. <laughs> excited like I don't want to press okay I just want to leave it like that right just keep it like this no pressing okay you know just look at it look at look at look at the simplicity honestly just look at the simplicity right nothing update is completed you press okay absolutely minimalist to the bigger M I mean anyway so let's press OK. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you what is a game changer this feature is. I cannot demonstrate the first feature which link with the new lens, the 75P. Because I don't have the lens, I'm not able kind of to demonstrate that. Hazel Blade, if you're watching this video, please, can you get in touch and if you can send me the new lens that you have just released now, the 75P. All right, so the feature that I'm most excited and most fascinated by is the four shot multi shot mode. And that's what I'm gonna be demonstrating to you right now. Okay, so let's get into that. In order to take advantage of that feature, there is certain condition that need to be fulfilled. One, your camera need to be still. It means you need to use a tripod. Second, the subject that you're taking need to be also still. So basically it's good for product photography. And lastly, you need to use Hasselblad software, the focus. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set up my Hasselblad X2D to my laptop. So we are set. To demonstrate, I'm gonna take a picture of the Hasselblad lens, the 55V. First, I'm just going to take a normal picture. And then after that, I'm going to take a picture using the new features. And then we can compare. All right? Okay. So let's go to focus. And how you use focus to do it. It's simple. So here I am in focus. And here where there's a section where there is a capture. And in the capture where we can take live photos. And one thing is really important. So where you say type. Why you say type here? And where you say single. And that's where we're going to be able to change, to just use it as a normal or using the new features. To take a normal photo, we're just going to leave to single, and I'm going to take my first photo. All right, I'm going to press it here. All right, that is taken. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the ISO. My ISO now is 1600. I'm going to reduce it. To reduce the ISO is as simple. I can just reduce it from the focus. I'm going to reduce it to 800, all right? And I'm going to take one more picture. Okay, so next we're going to use the new features. 
To use the new features, I'm going to go with the type and change it to multi. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to change to multi. Okay. So let me quickly explain to you how this feature works. So the camera takes four photos, but each time they take a photo, you move the sensor a little bit and then take the next one and then you combine them together. So I change it to multi and I'm going to press. So it took four photos. I don't know, did you hear it or not? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take again another another photo, but I'm going to turn my microphone into the camera so that you can hear it. All right, so now I'm going to take the picture again. All right, perfect. It took four. So now we go on to review the the photo, right? I'm going to increase to 100. It's really sharp. And let me increase to 200. Look at this, that's a 200. Let me increase it to 300. Or oh, it's even go to 400. Four hundred is still really sharp. Let me increase it. Let's see. All right, so we can only increase it to four hundred here. So let me use the other one. Let's see, the normal one. Can you see the difference? You can see the difference, right? That is the normal one and that is the multi so that's the normal one and that's with the new features you can see with the new features 400 we still have you know sharpness we can we can see the difference All right, you can see, yeah? I'm gonna take a picture of my Canon C400. All right, that is it. That's the demonstration. What do you think about these new features? Are you planning to try them out? Or even are you planning to update your camera? Let me know in the comment box below, yeah? And especially, if you have not liked this video yet, do press the like button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss when I'm gonna be testing the new firmware update with the Hasselblad X2D, right? And also leave me a comment. Right, Akuna Matata, my friend. Until then, keep creating. See you in my next video. Bye.